Hello, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make facial expression with texture using UV wrap modifier in Blender. Let me show you the effect I have done here. So we have a little blue dude with an eye on it. And what I want to do is make its pupil move let's go to the let's select this bone his this is my control bone go to the post mode select the control control bone and uh, press G to move it and you will see that little character's eyes pupil is moving around just with my control bones movement okay let me show you how to do it Let's start a new project here. Let me just uh, hide the camera and uh, I will use this cube. I will switch to OS graphic view as my preference. And here I add, uh, I will add a subsurface modifier. Let me make it more detailed to three. And uh, select object to make it smooth. Press tab to the edit mode. Okay, I, let me just apply it. Press tab, I will see the mesh. Press one, bring to the front view. One, two, um, tap to the edit view. Select the face selection. I will select the area of the um, eye on the right side from my view. Okay, this is the area of the eye. Shift D to duplicate the mesh I selected and uh, I want to move it a little bit forward so that it won't overlap with the head and uh, and then by selecting those faces let me press P to separate these faces select uh, select the selection now press tab we can see it is separated we can move it around. Um, for the head, let me first m add a material for it. We call it base. Let me make some color, like blue. Let me check the whether it is shaded. Yes, it is shaded. And uh, for the for this eye, let me um, remove this base material let me add another material called I material um, here I want to paste the eye texture on it uh, let me see um, yeah I want to paste this image onto the eye mesh let me bring out uh, another panel and uh, let's go to the UV editor here here press shift bring into the edit mode and select all face let's project it it's not on the right direction uh, let's press 1 to the front view and uh, unwrap again using U press U and project from view it's better so in this uh, UV editor, let me press B to box selector, S to scale, G to move, mm, full scale a little bit, uh, should be good. And then I want to use the eye texture, the eye image. Here I need to switch to the first, uh, let me go to shaded material, shaded mode. Uh, let me switch to um, shade edit, shader editor. Press N to close the note, to close the pad. Uh, Shift A. We need to add a te image texture. Here is where we need to select the texture here. So um, let me select the texture. It's this one. So the color op output to the principal BSDF. And uh, we can see the eye is already here, but we need the picture to be transparent. We don't want the black outside area. What do we need to do is Shift A, add a shader called Mix Shader. 
Shift A add another shader called transparent BSDF here. And uh, for the output of the principal BSDF, we need to disconnect here and connect to the mixed shader one of its shader input. And for another input, we need to connect the uh, transparent BSDF's output. And then uh, we need to use the images alpha channel to output to the factor input of the mixed shader and then connect the output of the mixed shader to the material surface. Okay, we don't see what we the effect what we need to do. The outside is still black. Another important thing we need to do is switch it to R for blend mode. Okay, that's what we need. Uh, let me make it a little bit smaller here and uh, press one to front view. We want the uh, eye on the left side. We can duplicate this mesh but what I want to do is add a mirror modifier that's that will come out the similar effect what I want okay now we have our eye and from now on I want to make uh, I want to draw a two pupil on these two eye let me uh, first let me select the, the let me rename the mesh to as I mesh And uh, let me duplicate it and uh, we rename it as pupil. Uh, so by selecting the pupil, we apply this. I don't want to be, um, because I want this pupil be uh, a single mesh. I don't want to be separate mirror mesh. So let's apply it. And uh, Go to the materials panel. I don't need an eye. I uh, let me let me first uh, make the pupil mesh a little bit forward because we want the pupil be uh, displayed over the eye. Let me add a new material. We call it pupil material. Now we need to do the UV unwrap. Go to the UV editor. Here I want to add a new um, image manually. I want to name it as a pupil texture. I want to make it 1024 by 512. And the color should be completely transparent at first. Okay. Press 1 to the front view, tap to edit mode, select all, already selected, press U to unwrap, project from view. Okay, go to the UV editor, G to grab, make the center, first let's scale it, here, press S, Y, scale vertically, okay, I'm good with it. And then I want, instead of uh, using some Photoshop or some, some external editor to draw a pupil because it's just very simple uh, graphic, I want to uh, compose the, the, these two pupil just inside Blender. What we can do is go to the image editor, um, press 2, bring a toolbar, it's not what we want. Go to the paint mode, okay, we can see the painter draw. And then press N to the tool toolbox. Let me um, change the radius to maybe 18. And uh, let me change the pupil color, maybe a little bit uh, dark, dark brown. Uh, I want to put it here. It's a little bit fuzzy. I want to. I wanted the stroke be more clear. We need to uh, adjust the four off make it more clear like this this should be good and uh, yeah it's much better uh, I think the pupil should be here and uh, here okay let's uh, uh, let's save it you, you can see your asterisk here it's not saved so let's save it save image okay um, 
we, we cannot see it because we haven't added we haven't added a shader editor let me do the same thing what do we do for the eye material so here's the pupil material uh, let's do the same add a texture called image texture here and select the image we just made for as the pupil texture here and connect the color to the BSD principal BSD and we see we, are, we can see there's two pupils it's not very clear but we can see it and we need to make it transparent so just do what we have done before as uh, adding a mixed shader don't forget to change to the alpha blend mode okay we can see the eye here hmm it's a little bit down here lower uh, let me adjust the image so what we can do uh, let me just show how to erase what we draw here uh, in paint mode there is no erase button so if you want to erase you need to uh, change the blend mode to alpha erase alpha and then erase here right and then let's draw again so switch back to mix here here perfect I'm good with it so um, let's do the, the most important thing add a UV wrap modifier so that we can control the pupils move movement let's close this window here um, by selecting the pupils mesh, let's add a let, let's add press Shift A. Add, let's press, first let me adjust the three cursors location to zero zero zero. Cursor is zero, zero, zero. Okay, and then uh, maybe it should be here. Press Shift A to add an armature, single bone. Press Shift to edit mode. Make the smaller. Using G, press Z, constrain it. Let me rename it. Rename this bone as base. So, just inside the edit mode, let's shift A, add another bone. Um, let's name it as control. This bone will be our control bone. Shift to the object mode. Hmm. Now we are going to do the most important step. Select the pupil. Go to modifier, add the UV wrap modifier. So from we select the armature, we just added bone is the base bone, armature, and the control bone. Okay, what do we do? What do we have done here is uh, tell the modifier the from the from object and the to object, and the difference between the two bone and from bone will be the different it reflect to the UV wrap location and rot rot rotation or scaling let me just um, demonstrate how it works so actually we have already done and uh, let's switch to the pose mode let me select the control ball let me just move it you can see the eye is moving so perfect so I select the eye and then select the head to make parent. Also for the pupil, select the head, control P, parent. Also for the armature, select the head, control P, parent. So now if we move this head, everything will be moved. So it's good. We can make the I'm going to turn a little bit down so we can see clearly how when we control the when we move the control bone 
switch to pulse mode select the control control ball okay it's good now thank you for watching